Based on recent form, this encounter is expected to be a war of attrition, as both teams' batting has been a feature backed up by competent bowling and fielding. It's a recipe that has coach Mervyn Dillon excited about the team's prospects away from home. Obviously, we're not there yet in terms of um, the kind of cricket we want to play. I'm, I'm still a little disappointed in the way we're catching, um, so that's something we have to work on. Um, it's still very early in the tournament. Um, for this game, I am exceptionally happy. The guys played some good cricket and to win by innings. Plus, on this wicket, I think was a really good effort. Um, Akilo Sain was excellent in, in, in how, the way he bowled. Um, Odin Smith in the first innings. Um, so really, really happy with, with, with how things are. And, and, and I, I love that the big scores that we're putting on the board. I think that is clinical in terms of us. If we want to win this tournament, we have to put runs on the board. But despite that early season form, Dylan is keen to shake things up and ensure that the players have the right attitudes at all times. One of the things I stress on almost every time we talk is, is, is guys putting a high price on their wicket. Um, you know, even with the runs we're scoring, I still thought that Jason and, and, and a couple others gave away their hand. Um, and that, that is how I, hard I'm going to be. It's, it's not just about, you know, getting 50 or 60 runs. Um, if we can bat and come not out, that is, that is what I ask of the guys, to make sure that whoever is in, uh, stays in and, and, gets the do and gets the job done. But as I said, it's, it's, it's good to see everybody um, getting some runs. And, 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 and for me, it's a really good thing going into the Guyana game that the, most of my batters, even Terrence down the order, they were played exceptionally well as well. So um, I am happy, like I said, with everything that I got out of this game, except, you know, I guess with a couple of chances that we would have let, let down. Echoing a similar sentiment to skipper Darren Bravo, who was taken to the leadership role in the team like the proverbial duck to water. But even he is being realistic and isn't getting ahead of himself heading into the Guyana clash. Yeah, you know, it's going to be a tough challenge, um, obviously leaving your shows to play in foreign conditions. But having said that, um, I believe the guys should be confident, you know, coming off a win. And uh, to me, obviously coming off two very, very good games. So we'll go down there with some level of confidence, but we know we definitely need to play good and proper cricket in all facets of the game. So we'll try our best and we'll see how things go. The Red Force could be strengthened even further with the return of several West Indian stars, many of whom have expressed an interest in rejoining the team for their fourth-round clash in St. Kitts. Ruskin Mark, TDT Sports.